Hey everyone. So what I'm showing you here is this uh, little geode crystal I made with some leftover resin. And there's some other small little crystals. And there's some crushed glass. So I end up totally botching this up. So I'm going to show you the whole process and then how I fix it. I'm showing you some colors I'm probably not even going to use. Or if I use them, they don't work out. So that's a cobalt uh, resin art tint, which is really beautiful. It just didn't go with this like I thought. Um, I did use the Caribbean Sea Tint from Resin Art. I basically built this whole idea around those being green. That's Midas Touch and that's Golden Maple. And this is Delphinium, which gets used but later on goes away, as does this seagrass color, which is really beautiful also gets used and goes away. So hang in with me. I sped this up a lot just because of all the damage I did. So this is a 10 inch cradled wood board from Arteza. It's taped on the sides and I have a tape dam around the edges using 3M tape. Um, this is Midas Touch, which is a bling it color from Color Art. Bling it colors can be used in resin or in acrylic pouring. So I really love that color. So what I did is I just kind of created some puddles where I was going to put my glass um, because I wanted the glass on the top to kind of reflect the gold underneath. So that's why I did it that way. Um, I used, I basically put too many places, like I made it too busy. So in my mind, I was like, okay, green looks great with gold and it looks great with purple. So what if I do like, green and gold and purple and then put black instead of white in for a solid color which was good in theory um that's the beautiful golden maple it was just it ends up being very busy part of it's because of the colors and part of it's because of the composition but the beautiful thing about resin is you have some forgiveness you can kind of um you can kind of cover some things up with a layer so bear with me um, I'm going to show you the crazy and then I'm going to show you the fix. So as I laid down the, the crystals, I was like, okay, I don't like that like that. I'm going to put them in opposite places. But then I ended up having basically four corners of some kind of crystal. It was just too much. I should have done maybe one of the crystals and maybe a puddle of the gold. But what's done is done. Um, you got to learn somehow, right? And this is only like the second geode I've ever done. And of course, naturally, I pick like really busy things to start. So that right there is Aruba Sky from Resin Art, which is a beautiful uh, bluish green color. And I think I mixed it with some of the Car Caribbean Sea resin tint. Um, and I put that under as a puddle for the other crystal. So now I'm putting some crushed glass from Michaels over the... Um, the Midas Touch. This particular crushed glass comes in a little jar and I really like it. It's pretty. It's like a, it's got like an amber reflective. I don't like the one that comes in the bag as much. It's too crushed. This one is kind of like irregular mirror glass. Um, and it's, well, it doesn't have a mirror, but anyway, it's, it's crushed, but it's like irregular pieces and I really like it. So, um, so if you notice that because the geodes were created using leftover resin, they're very opaque looking. I say, keep saying geode, geodes, geode crystals. They're very opaque looking. Um, so I, I don't end up liking that. And I, I'll show you kind of one of the things I do to try to soften that. So around the gold, I put some alumini, uh, alumilite black dye in some resin. And I those are the rings I put around the gold. And I put... A ring of the black around the gold over there on the top right hand corner. Now I'm adding some more gold on top of the screen and of course the gold is somewhat translucent so the green is showing through. So I'm kind of still figuring out the composition at this point. So there's seagrass. So seagrass is a beautiful color. It has kind of a gold undertone so in my mind it went great with this. Um, but it actually ends up making it look very busy. It's not seagrass's fault. It's just really not. I just, I'm learning as I 
play around with resin art that you kind of need to have like one color idea and then the rest kind of stay neutral. And you can do variations of that color, but what I'm finding is, you know, the more colorful you try to make it, which if you follow me at all, you know, like for blooms and all that, I do tons of color, right? So um, what I'm finding is you kind of need to keep it a little simpler when it comes to the geodes because th they get really busy really quick. So what, what you saw me do in the middle there is I tried that cobalt tint and it doesn't go at all with this, so I was trying to get it out. And so at this point, I'm like, mayday, you know, how am I going to fix this? So I'm filling in the delphinium color, which is a magical color, by the way. And then I still have the golden maple that I now have to find a place to put down. And I've laid down some of these rings in really weird places. And it's just not going too hot, you know. So and then just when I thought I got to a place where okay, this isn't too bad. I can clean it up with some, some paint lines, some markers. Then I set it down in a place where it didn't dry level and it all shifted. So that was awesome. So the golden maple is the really bright yellow gold. And that would have been really cool if there wasn't already so much stuff going on. If it was just on a neutral color, like you know, black and white and gold or something, that would be awesome. But with the green and the purple and all that, there's just too much going on in here. You know what I mean? So this is a close-up of how it is right now. I'm showing you that I got some green in my gold. Um, so I've worked to mute that. But, you know, the colors are beautiful. It's just hot mess express at this point. So bear with me. I'm going to show you in a second what I did to kind of soften those green crystals a little bit by sprinkling a little clear resin on them and then sprinkling a little bit of that gold crushed glass. So I'm going to show you that coming up next. After this dries for about an hour, I'm going to take the tape dam off and then I'm just going to heat those edges really quickly with the heat gun, um, which I didn't film. film. Sorry about the dark background. I had to turn the light off, but, um, just a status update. To me, these green crystals were cool, but they looked a little too plasticky. So after I stopped filming, I put some of the other glass that we have here. I sprinkled it on top, and then I just sprinkled some, some resin to make it look a little bit more like a crystal cluster. And um, this is the original one that we put some around. And then on this one, I did the same thing and that actually made this one look a lot better. Um, and of course this one was the one that had the loose, the loose ones too. And then I put a little bit of the same crystals around. Now I did put a little clear on top and I put a little bit more of the black around here to try to get some effects around the edge. Um, there is a little bit too much resin on this board so you can kind of see it starting to pull. But you know, we can, See what we can clean up with Posca pens after, or we can add another layer and put a little bit more detail, but I think, I think it's all gonna work. But I wanted you guys to see what I did off camera. I thought about getting my phone back on the tripod, but I already had stuff all over my gloves. So that's all I did. I just arranged it and sprinkled it with the clear that was left. Okay, more to come. All right, everyone. So it's time to transform this crazy into something else. This is Boreal, and this is a Color Art Bling It color. It's one of the newest ones. And I decided, since I'm gonna kinda keep it green, gold, and black, that maybe we would introduce this, um, that color in. So what I'm doing here is all that Hot Mess Express, I'm covering it up with black. Um, because it was already a little busy and then it shifted as it dried because I accidentally tilted it when I was putting it down. So this is a Illumilite black opaque dye. <laughs> just a few drops, sorry that was my dog, in some resin. And I'm basically just covering everything up but the little crystal areas and some of the gold around the crystals. And then we're going to just try to keep it really simple. 
and um, as elegant and less busy as possible. So I sped this up for obvious reasons because it's kind of boring to just watch someone fill in with black. And I was also kind of trying to figure this out as I went. You know what I mean? So next up, we are using um, uh, Aruba Sky, which is a resin art color from Color Art. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're not. We're using Midas Touch, which is also a bling it color. It's in the same set as Boreal. And it's a beautiful gold with a touch of red in it. And um, so then I'm going to use Aruba Sky, which is a resin art luster pigment. And it has really big particles, so I put a smidge of alcohol in there just to help dissolve those first. And that's what I'm laying down here. So that was one of the colors I mixed the first time. And uh, it's just, it's a beautiful, rich color. I also mixed up a little bit of the Caribbean, I want to say it's Caribbean Sea or something, resin tint. And I put down a layer of that. It's just a little bit more green. Um, I just put it in for some depth and kind of ran it through that Aruba Sky because I had already mixed it up. And I'm just taking a little bit of my leftover Midas Touch and hitting the edges, um, especially covering up that one green part that you saw earlier in the video. So now I'm torching my bubbles. And at this point, I'm over here thinking, should I put the Boreal down? Is it too light? Is it too different? And I went back and forth with that in my head a little bit. And then I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. So when I put it down, I was like, yeah, I, it kind of just pulled it together. It is a little bit more of a silvery green um, than a deep green, but it kind of works perfectly to bring a pop of color in the middle. So now I'm torching the bubbles and uh, need to let it dry. So I'm gonna bring you in so you can see what it looks like. So here's what it looks like so much better than it was it's hard to see that deep green color from the tripod so you can see how beautiful and sparkly it is and how lovely of a color it is my husband came home and I was like look I made it better and he's like oh yeah I didn't know if you could fix that one <laughs> so you can see that my little rings around um my crystals spread out a little bit but that's okay hey everyone so um my fixer up layer is dry it's hard for you to see the green that's here because it's so dark but it's really beautiful um my gold around my crystals spread out which is okay so i'm just going to kind of play to that but i'm gonna use my posca and craftsman pins and draw some lines <clears throat> Because of how busy all of the crystals are and kind of, they're kind of overdone, I don't currently think I'm going to do anything beyond paint pen lines. I don't think I'm going to try to do like glitter or anything. So, um, but I just wanted you to see it. Let me show it to you up close. Um, considering what it was before I poured over it, um, it's a lot better. There are some parts where the purple still shows, like right here. So on my final flood coat, um, if I can't cover it up with just like paint pen, I just drop some glass. I will uh, hit the corners with black and then do another flood coat, but I'm going to speed up this part for you. I just wanted to talk through it in case I forgot to mention it, so be right back. All right, everyone. So I'm starting with gold. Um, I end up not liking that and fighting with it a lot. So I, I used the fine point gold and then the closer to the crystals and then the thicker one out by the edge and I kept messing up that one part and ended up having to redo the whole thing so <laughs> I'm gonna get to the point where I'm not that obsessive about those lines but it's not gonna happen in this video so um, I was tempted to put something around the gold rings where they spread out but it would have just made it too busy so I was just like you know what leave it alone less is more it's already very busy so the only bad thing is when you have to erase those lines is um, those are oil based pens and so they they leave a residue so probably won't show under resin but you can see when I tilted it a certain way uh, you could see it also I covered up the purple so a little bit on the corners some of the purple was showing so I just hit it with the black marker so 
Um, so there, I finally got the gold line. I ended up, I was on the fence about adding that emerald green, but I kind of like it in lieu of like a white or something that you would normally add if you didn't have a black background. I think it kind of worked out okay. And I think I even put a black line somewhere in the green, but I'm going to list the, the paint pens. So here it is before the final layer of resin. And then I'm going to bring you in after the final flood coat, after I take the tape off the sides, so you can see what she looks like. I'm going to call it a... Okay, everyone, so here it is. Um, the only thing that needs to be done still is... Um, oh, I hate to touch that. I need to touch up some of the white paint on the sides because I had some like black scuff marks come through and I had to kind of get rid of those. But that's not too big of a deal. So considering how wild this got in the middle, I kind of love it. Like, I wish these were more transparent um, because they look more cheesy when because they're not. But this way I didn't waste epoxy. And I think adding the crystals around them softened them a little bit. So um, you can see the green so much better in person. On camera it looks really muted so this color right here is the boreal bling it and this is aruba sky which is a resin art and it's a luster color or diamond or whatever it has those big particulates and they're so sparkly and um, under here is the Midas touch uh, which you can see shows through the glass so that's really cool and this is also Midas Touch, that's a bling it color. And um, this is just black alumilite dye. I like how much more simple it is. Um, I even don't mind this emerald green line, it adds a little pop of color. Obviously, um, I love Stone Coat Art Coat Resin, um, but it has a thinner viscosity, so as something like this dries, sometimes it spreads out a little bit more than you'd like for a geode but it's still like glossy glass-like finish. So yeah, let me know what you think of this one. I know it's a little weird, um, but I didn't want to waste it. I wanted to save it, So, but I am learning. Sometimes less is more. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye.